Merry Christmas. I wanted to share with you guys how I make my art videos, the content creation tools that I use, the lighting, the setup, all of that stuff, just an honest look at how I do what I do and the tools that I think will help you too. So I told you guys that I was gonna be giving you a real look, an honest look at my setup, and here we are on the floor. <laughs> and many artists, many creatives have less than ideal situations to create their artwork, but it's about that grit, you guys, that moving forward, no matter what it looks like, and just being obedient to the call that God's placed on your life. So here we are, you guys. This is a setup for watercolor, and so I am horizontal because waters will drip down if you try to give them an angle, which I don't want right now. Someday I will have a beautiful setup and we will rejoice together of the glorious studio room or art desk or whatever it might be that I have as a setup in the future. But this is just a really real and practical look because so many artists are in the situation that I'm in, which is just making it work, you guys. So here we are. I have my setup and this I will actually put away before my kids get home. Cause you notice I am right in front of the door. <laughs> and I just like this spot because it's got really good windows and it's just a really peaceful place to work in when nobody's home. The first thing we'll talk about is the lights. These GVM lights are amazing. Just this part up here is the light. They are battery powered, so you can recharge them. They have different settings for intensity. So if you, for some reason, wanted to really wash out your paintings, you could turn it up really high. I always keep it down at 5% for the most part. And then this also controls the warmth of the light and you can just do different things with the color. Here's more blue when you have it all the way over there. So I like to keep it at warmth, uh, which is at 3200 K. And so lighting is very important when you're creating artwork. If you do not know the lights that you have in your home, typically the bulbs, they have different warmths to them, different coolnesses. And when you're selling artwork online, you really want it to be as true to life as possible, as true to daylight as possible. And so you want to have a, what's called a true light. And so that's what these give me. Notice I have them on the left side of my painting. And that's important because if you have a hand in front of the light, it's going to create a shadow. I'm a righty. Many of you guys may not be possibly. And so you would want to put your lights on the other side, but because I'm a righty, I'll have this over here. I also end up keeping my paints and my water on this side as well. Paper towel too, for those of you interested in that. Now this is my tripod that I use the most because it is so very versatile and you can see that you can see that all of the different feet of them, they move, they actually can even wrap around things like fence posts or things like that. They can kind of just perch really strangely, however you need them to. And so I, this has been extremely practical for me and I really love that light and the tripod that it's sitting on. But also this is just a cheap tripod, you guys. And this is the same light, it's the JBM and I use two lights when I have a bigger painting, when I need to have lit up a bigger space. And what I'll do is I'll typically have this coming from a different angle on the painting, but still on that right side. So I may have one just coming from the top over here and then one on the right side. This is just a cheap tripod that I use and you can use something like this as well. I think this was actually given to me as a gift but this gives me a little bit more height and more importantly it's just another place to store this light now these lights when you order them and i'll have a link below in the description for the tripod for these as well as the lights they do come with these little stands which you totally can use they will work uh, this is just for if you need something that's more versatile has more angles this gorilla pot it not only will move like this on the legs but if you loosen this, you also get so much articulation. It's crazy. So that is, these are two of my favorite things right here. And I wanted to share that with you guys so that you can have them too. Now moving on to this tripod where I make all of my time lapses from. This tripod is amazing. This is a K and F concept. 
It is not their most recent one. I will link to their most recent one, but you could just get this one because it is excellent in almost every single way. I'll let you know there's one way it's not perfect, but in every other way, it's phenomenal. So what I have here, I actually bought this part separate and I'll take it out to show you. Um, this little part on top of here is where you put your phone, right? Most people are familiar with those from like selfie sticks. You would just buy a separate attachment like this. I'll link to that as well. And oftentimes they'll come with other attachments too, which can be cool. But this goes into the tripod right here. And this is so amazing because not only does it have the articulation that the gorilla pod has right here for the top, and it can actually even go all the way in like that for different angles that you need to film in. But this thing right here, let me show you. There's this ball right here that once you loosen it, this goes in, up, and down, okay? Now, this is more for if I wanted to make a video about, about my artwork and I wanted to tell you about it, if I was doing some you know, YouTube videos or things like that, I would set it up like this. But for my time lapses, I almost always have it set up like this. And I just have it out like this. You can, these will go very low. You can adjust it with this right here, as low as you want to. And then this will also extend. Let me show you this before I forget. That will extend up there as high as the span of this thing is, um, as the span of that is. So the other amazing thing about this tripod I'm going to show you in a time lapse because it takes a little bit long to set up. Now, it didn't take that long. It actually just took a couple minutes, but in YouTube time, that is like an eternity. So as you can see, you guys, it is insane to me Maybe that is just like a really simple minded thing to say, but to me, this is insane how low this thing gets. Like if you wanted to get some serious detail on your artwork, you really could. And it's just so well supported and structured. This thing is solid. Like it's not going anywhere. It's great for outdoor use. Every leg is adjustable. And the only thing I will say about what I don't like about this, and I'm not sure why they chose to make it this way, is that you have to adjust it through unscrewing it. Uh, I, I really don't know why they chose to make it that way. That's my only thing that I don't like about this, but it's really not that big of a deal. This also does extend to a monopod, um, which means like a one-legged tripod with just this one. And um, if you know what that means, it means one leg tripod. So that's when you see cameras that are up super duper tall. Um, that's what this one does, crazy tall. So this is extremely versatile, good not just for art in many ways, but also for if you were gonna film outside or film yourself outside creating artwork, just top notch, you guys. If you get this, you will not regret it, I don't think. The other thing I do want to mention when you are making videos of your artwork and you creating your artwork. Now this is, this attachment is for a phone, but you could use a camera on this easily as well, obviously, but you want to have your phone set not to selfie mode. Your best camera on your phone is the one that's used just for pictures, not the one that's pointed back at you. So that might be frustrating to some of you who, when you have it up higher, you want to be able to see a reflection of what's in the screen underneath it, but the best mode you want to use is that forward facing camera. I use pretty much all of these tools in the way that I not only create art, but also make these videos. So they're extremely versatile and they will help you in a lot of different ways. Now these tools can all be purchased online. Links are posted down below. I hope that this was really informative for you guys and that it will help get you started creating artwork and if you have to start with no tools, if it just is you and your cell phone holding it, a shaky video, that's somewhere to start. And I just wanna encourage you with that, that that can work for a while until you're ready to buy these kinds of tools and invest in this. If this video blessed you, tap that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to come on future creative adventures with us and turn on those notifications also. If you wanna see a full video of me making art with these tools that I mentioned, click this one right here. It is one of my favorites. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Be so blessed.